Hey guys, it's your girl Dia from It's Dia on YouTube and also Dia from the Journey Family as you guys can see. So today I'll be showing you guys a tutorial on how to use Keynote on the Mac. So the first thing I'm going to start with is showing you guys what Keynote is. So Keynote is this bar. This is how it looks. It is on the desktop of a Mac. So you have to use double click, click that. And this is how it looks. So Keynote is known as a presentation kind of editing tool. It's basically choose a theme and I choose wide it just gives it more space and I choose white you could just double click that or bottom of one just click it. and this is how it looks you get these text boxes just delete those and now we have a good background so for the background you could do um, gradient fill which is like those ones with a mixture of two colors put together and um, these are just some examples of the colors you get but you know, I'm just gonna go plain, and I think a blue would do the tone good. So I already saved like a purplish blue tone. So at the top we have our basics, and at the top you can also find your text. So double click that and just write whatever you want. So I'll be you, I'll be writing how to use keynotes. Uh, I just use my title as an example for you guys, and the next one's gonna be on on a Mac. 2018. So yeah, now that we got these two, now it's time to style these up and make them big. So over here is your like text layout area. So where there's a font. I like to use this font. I, I like the way it's written. And I'm going to put the size of it to 100. And now for this one, this is going to be about 96. And I will well, I don't know, that does, I feel, we actually use, uh, this one, uh, this is the other one I also like, so yeah, maybe, they, yeah, they both will fit that, so there we go, we have our text written out, I'll put a little explanation mark for that, so yeah, another cool thing you could do is go over to range, over here, and you can actually rotate your um, text or whatever your mouse is clicked on and the same with this and um, yeah so it gives it a little edge to it but you know it needs to pop out on YouTube thumbnails and make that bigger and there we go double click this could be a bigger too it's in, you need to see what you're going to do as well. So now I'm going to show you a cool thing you guys can do. So you want to go to to animate. You want to click build in and it like gives it a little effect with it. So right now there's a bunch of options and then that shifts it out. It comes in and it goes out. These, these are pretty fancy like, things you could do with your text, which I actually like. And I do use these for the journey family. You can also use these on pictures. So I actually use some of these on the picture in journey family, the intro. And um, yeah, so there's also the flame, which I like. I think it won't burn and then it pops in. So I also like that as well. So now we're gonna show you guys how to get images. So go go images. Go. So that was a notification. But anyway, go go images, and basically we want like a picture of keynote so that they know. They know. Oh, type in PNG so you do not get a background with it. You just want the picture, and it shows checker mark, ch checker box like that. That means it is transparent, and with Mac computers you could just drag a picture onto desktop so right now I could just drag my image right onto Keynote and just scale it to the way I want and you can, you, sh you can also rotate your images as well which is the cool part and um, Keynote also has those alignment lines so it keeps everything perfect once you hit that line so yeah, 
you could also you could always change those effects that you put on it which is the cool part and this one has a, like a typewriter so yeah that's how it looks it's coming together so like so you just want to fight figure out what you want it all of that and then the next thing we're gonna get is the mac sign okay guys so i got my mac sign and so I just dragged out on my desktop. Well, I don't know what happened to my voice there. Open back up Keynote and just drag that in. Come on, go on. There we go. And now, yeah. Do the same, scale it. You know, you don't want it too big. But you also don't want it too small. Then rotate that a bit. And I think I'm going to do the same with the Keynote picture. But um, yeah, anyways guys, so far this is how it looks, and I'm really liking it. So over there it has shapes at the top as well, and it also has a space where you can um, import the media. A next cool thing you could do, your text is go over to style, go over to shadow, and click like a drop shadow. And it's basically like a shadow around your word. And you can actually change the color of that. So this one's black. So you see how it's more bolded now. And um, for the drop shadow for this one, I'm going to not make it black, but make it white. And as you guys can see, you guys can actually see that fainted white around it. Which is the cool part. And you can actually make double clicking on. And you can actually make your picture bigger. And yeah, you can make it like pop out of its like text box that it has for itself, which also the next part. But um, yeah, once you have everything arranged, there we go. Now to save it, you go over to File, Export to QuickTime. Make sure it's QuickTime, mm -hmm. and you want to turn it to 1080p, which is just like a better high quality, and um want to name it a name you will remember and you also want to put it put it to a place where you can find it so i put it on my desktop and basically it just creates a movie and i'll get back to you guys once i've done that okay guys so now my movie is done and it is created so just minimize this and i put it on my desktop so here it is now i'm just going to open imovie and show you guys that it can also go into your iMovie. Okay guys, so my iMovie is now here. It's loaded. Um, there's going to be some pictures, well, some videos of um, some Journey Family videos. So um, don't mind those at all. But um, yeah, I'm going to create a new movie. And uh, yeah, this is how iMovie looks. If you guys want, I will also make a tutorial on how to use iMovie. So right now we have our clip we made on Keynotes. So a cool thing also about iMovie is you get sound effects. So I'm not going to go too deep into iMovie. Just in case you guys want me to do a tutorial on that as well. But type in a typewriter and it actually gives you a sound effect. You just drag that down. And right now I'm just finding the start and where it ends so it actually matches up. But, uh, yeah. And then you just add, and access, cut off the access parts. You know, there. It starts when you search right in and it ends when it ends. So you're trying to just get everything perfect, that's what I'm trying to do. But um, anyways, on to the next one now that we got that finish is our map. So basically I was looking for like a burning sound, something burning, but I guess either iMovie doesn't have it or I just wasn't typing it in how they wrote it. So I was just going through trying to find a sound effect that would also be cool at the same time but also go with it. 
and I found this. So I'm just like, that was, it was actually pretty cool. I'm just like, it, go, it goes with the flame. It does not sound like a flame, but it goes. So that's the part that I like about it. And basically all I'm doing is just going over it and making sure it all fits. And the ones I'm happy, I just want to cut off all that access. Don't need that. Don't need that. You know, yeah, so this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoy this and stay tuned for the next one.